Hello guys, this is Hams. Welcome back to Katabi Fight Training. Uh, I want to show you my low. I don't. I'm sure it's not very good, but I like it. And today I'm gonna start a new video tutorial about Katabi Fight programmation. So what is this? This is the Visual Basic programmation to create macros. It's kind of the Excel one. So to start, you need to create a new product or a part. Then you need to go to Tools, Macros, and you can have macros, start recording, or you can go directly to Visual Basic Editor. So in this case, I'm going to do macros. And here, one thing you need to do first is go to your macro libraries. And here, you need to to have your directory where your macros are going to be stored. So, but this one, this folder, this means if you have only, for example, I'm gonna delete this. If you only have this directory here, you you select it here, close it, and now you can see it moves to your only to your folder. So to create a macro here, we just go to create, and you need to select the language you want to program in. In this case, it could be Katia script or Visual Basic script. But before that. Well, let's start with Katia script. And you need to give a name to your macro. In this case, I'm gonna say hello Katia. Click OK. And now this is this is your macro. See if you click room, nothing is going to happen because we we haven't do anything to our macro. So if you click edit you can see there's no visual basic here it's just like a notepad and the macro already contain the cat main this is always you need to put this to start your Katia script macro so I'm gonna add here if you remember how to create a message box just do it. I'm gonna put hello Katia script. I'm just gonna save it. You need to close it. So now it will run the macro. Now you can see the message where we write hello Katia script. Okay. So another thing is the Visual Basic script. So I'm gonna call this hello visual basic and now we have two macros with different language but to be honest I don't remember right now what's the difference of Katia script and visual basic script I have it in my book but I forgot it in my job so I'm gonna try to if if I run this you see nothing happened because we don't do anything so select again edit and now you can see we have the same editor like the notepad so if we write the same hello visual basic script you save on it close it run the macro now we have two macros that do the same but they are in different language so now you say well I want to use Visual Basic Editor because I need to create a form to to show the user uh, user interface or whatever you need so to do this you can just click Visual Basic Editor or the way that I do is just go to macros but if you try to create a Visual Basic project here you can see there is no visual basic here so the thing you need to do you need to create a new project so 
you need to go to change to visual basic projects here create a new library in this case I want my project to be saved where I put it desktop let me see Katia Macos yes here so I'm gonna copy this you can see the macros we already created here I'm gonna paste it here now you need to add the name of your project I'm gonna put project1 that for Katia project so it's going to be Katia visual basic script I think so let me see so close on it yes ah I think you only need to add your project1 and automatically it's going to put the Katia Visual Basic Advanced so if we go here you can see we have let me rename this it's going to delete this uh, it's going to be used here well anyway I'm going to delete this I'm going to add a new one Oops. I'm gonna put project one just like that. Click OK, close this, and now it's okay. Okay, and now you can see if I, I move to the folder, you have the script here. If you go to the project, there's nothing here, so now click on create, and now you can see we have visual basic advance and it's going to ask you the name of your first model so in this case I'm gonna call this model hello just click OK and now let's click edit and now you have your visual basic editor as the one of Excel so here you can insert forms or class models so right now and you can see what's the name of the function is the same as the scripts cut main so I'm gonna create message box that says hello visual basic advance and now you can see how it changed to capital letters another thing that you can do in your projects is remember the F8 you can run your project step by step so now we have a message box that says Katia B5 title and the hello visual basic advance string. So click OK. And in another way to create a Katia script, so is just create a new text text document. I'm gonna call it hello text document just double click on it here uh, I think it was like that I don't remember very good but I'm gonna put out another message box let's say hello text document I'm gonna save this close on it and another thing you need to do is rename the file and change the extension for cut script cut script or cut visual script doesn't matter it's going to tell you you're, you're going to change the extension of the file just click yes now you can see how it changed to the Katia picture so if I go now to my macros I change to the folder now you can see I create a, another macro that is called hello text document I'm gonna run on it and now we have the message box that say hello text document so that's another way to create macros you can copy and paste another macro in a text box and just change the extension to the Katia script and now you have your macro and you can edit it here too 
so please tell me what you think about this if you're interested if you like it you like my logo and here I, I am in my work you need, I'm very busy right now <laughs> so please if you like it subscribe and see you in the next video thank you for watching